Now for the first part then, we've got to find the x-coordinates of A and B for the curve C. And to do that, all we need to do is set y equal to 0. So when y equals 0, we have that t times 9 minus t squared equals 0. So that means that therefore, this factor t equals 0, or the factor 9 minus t squared equals 0. So when t equals 0, let's see what we get. When t equals 0, x will equal 5 times 0, which is 0, minus 4. So x equals minus 4. Now we've got the other factor, 9 minus t squared, to equal 0. So let's just say that when 9 minus t squared equals 0, we therefore have that t squared equals 9. And if we square root both sides, that leads to t equals plus or minus 3. So when t equals 3, what do we have for x? Well, 3 squared is 9, 9 fives are 45, take away 4 is 41. So y equals 41. And when t equals minus 3, you'll see that when we square the minus 3, we get our 9 again. So the answer is going to be exactly the same. y is going to be 41. So whether t is plus 3 or minus 3, let's just put that in, plus or minus 3, y equals 41. So we had to give the x-coordinates of a and b. So you can see that at a, x must be equal to the minus 4. And at b, x equals 41. So we've got at a then, x is minus 4. We could put that in there. And at b, x is 41. So that brings us to the end of this part of the question.